In the previous lecture, we had discussion on reasoning and aptitude and now we are going to understand what is a ratio. A ratio indicates how much one thing is there as compared to other things. So, ratio is a comparison of one thing with other things. The definition is very simple to understand and now we will move on to the example. Example is a bag of fruits having six apples and four bananas. We have a bag of fruits with six apples and four bananas. So, the number of apples, let's say A is representing the apples, is equal to six. And the number of bananas, let's say B is representing the bananas, is equal to four. Now, if I ask you to tell me the comparison between the apples and bananas, then you will say there are six apples as compared to four bananas. So, we say A, which is the number of apples, compared to B, which is the number of bananas, is equal to six ratio four. The comparison is the ratio. And we read it, A is to B is equal to six is to four. Now, when you observe 6 and 4, you will find 6 can be written as 3 multiplied to 2 and 4 can be written as 2 multiplied to 2. Now, here you will find 2 is common and we call it, we call this 2 common factor and this common factor is usually not present in the ratio. We write ratio in the simplest form. So, we will have A ratio B equal to 3 ratio 2. We have not written the common factor. And this common factor is a very important concept here in ratio because you will find out while solving the problems, we usually need to find out this common factor first and then we proceed with our calculation for the required quantities. So, I hope you now understand what is a common factor in the ratio. Now, there is one more way to represent ratio. We can write A ratio B as A by B and this will be equal to 3 by 2. So, in this way, we have compared one thing which is apple with the other thing and represented it in these two ways. Now, what if I want to compare the number of bananas with the number of apples? I will say B ratio A equal to 4 ratio 6. Removing the common factor, we will have 2 ratio 3. Or we can write B over A equal to 2 over 3. So, in this case, we have compared the number of apples to the number of bananas and in this case, we have compared the number of bananas to the number of apples. So, ratio is nothing but the comparison of similar things and for comparison, we must have more than one thing. Now, we will move on to our example problem. In this example problem, A ratio B is equal to 2 ratio 3 and B ratio C is equal to 5 ratio 7 and we need to find A ratio B ratio C. So, let us understand how to find out A ratio B ratio C. When you read the problem, you will find we have two ratios given in the problem. The first ratio is A ratio B equal to 2 ratio 3 and the second ratio is B ratio C equal to 5 ratio 7. In the first ratio, we have A and B. In the second ratio, we have B and C. So, we can see that we have B common in the two ratios and B in the first ratio is 3 and B in the second ratio is 5 and 3 is not equal to 5. And therefore, we cannot write down A ratio, B ratio, C directly. So, now we will shift our focus on making B same in the two ratios. Now, what we will do is we will multiply A ratio B this by 5 because B is 5 in the second ratio. So, we will multiply 2 ratio 3 by 5 
Similarly, we will multiply 5 ratio 7 by 3 because b is 3 in the first ratio. By doing so, we will have 15 here as b and here also we will have 15 as b and therefore we will have same value for b. So the new a ratio b is equal to 10, 2 multiplied to 5 is 10, ratio 15 and the new b ratio c, b ratio c is equal to 15 ratio 21, 3 multiplied to 5 is 15 and 3 multiplied to 7 is 21. So we have 15 ratio 21. From here we can have A ratio, B ratio, C very easily. A is 10, B is 15, we know this, and C is 21. So this is the answer of this example problem. So this is the actual process to find out A ratio, B ratio, C. And now we will move on to our shortcut method. The step number one is to write down the ratios we have. We have A, we have B and we have C. So I will write A, B and C in a single row. Now from ratio number one, we know A ratio B is equal to 2 ratio 3. So below A, I will write 2 and below B, I will write 3. From here, we have B ratio C equal to 5 ratio 7. So below B, we will write 5 and below C, we will write 7. So this is step number 2. And now we will move on to our final step in which we will perform the multiplication. The first multiplication we will perform between this value and this value. So I will put an arrow like this signifying we are going to multiply 2 with 5. So 2 multiplied to 5 will give us 10. This is our first number. We will put ratio after this. Then we will multiply 3 by 5. This will give us 15. The second number again we will put ratio and then we will multiply 3 by 7. And this will give us the final number we need. So 10 ratio 15 ratio 21 is our A ratio B ratio C. And this is same as this answer obtained. So I hope this shortcut method is clear to you. And I believe this is it for this lecture now. We understand what is ratio and we know how to deal with problems like this. So this is all. I will end this lecture here. See you in the next one.